going on, everybody? I will be joined in a bit by Caleb Huntley, running back out of Ball State and 2021 NFL draft participant. I can't wait to see him. He made quite a name for himself at Ball State. He opted out halfway through the year due to an injury and has been working on this draft ever since. As you see, or as you hear, it's just my voice tonight. James is celebrating his beautiful daughter's six months. Can't believe that she's already six months old. We've, uh, wow. I remember when James told me that his girlfriend was uh, pregnant with her, but let's stay on topic. We have an amazing interview with Caleb Huntley coming up. Can't wait to hear him. Uh, and while you check out our Spotify, make sure you check out our Instagram at our friend's Instagram at Brooklyn Ties. Their season is starting soon. So make sure you give them a follow, a like, and wish them the best of luck on their season. Uh, we definitely will be having more coming up about their season. But like I said, NFL draft is coming up very soon. And uh, we can't wait to see some of our guys get drafted. And Caleb Huntley is definitely on that list of guys that we cannot wait to see them get drafted. So stay tuned. This interview is going to be awesome. Hey, Caleb, how's it going, man? What's going on with you, man? How you doing? Thanks for joining. No problem. Very excited to have you on. Before we get started on the NFL draft and everything that you're doing leading up to it, I think we have to ask the question that I'm sure you could ask a lot. How does a Georgia boy end up in Mun Muncie, Indiana? Yup. <laughs> How does that happen? Uh, really, man, just uh, – so when I went to high school, uh, I was in middle school, eighth grade. Uh, then I, I, I rolled over until my freshman year. And I just really wasn't ready for it. Like, my maturity level just wasn't there at the time. Gotcha. So, um, I was like a class clown. I didn't really take it serious. And I didn't really take football serious either because I was a freshman. I mean, I was, I was getting some reps on varsity, but it wasn't nothing major. It was like special teams or something like that. So, I really wasn't focused. And I really just didn't believe in myself. So, um, that whole year was just, uh, just turmoil for real. And then um, – at the end of the year, they said I wouldn't uh, make it to the 10th grade. So um, I had to go to summer school that year and just make sure I got my grades up. And I end up um, being, able to, uh, being able to go to the next grade. But all the years leading up to my senior year, I had to go to summer school every summer uh, just to be eligible and be able to graduate. So uh, my senior year, I had like a 2.2 .2 GPA. And you needed you needed like a two three to go D one. So um, a lot of schools and a lot of offers that I had, they dropped ended up dropping me because I was committed to Western Kentucky at first. And then they just dropped me out of nowhere, like called me up and just dropped me. And um, that's when Ball State came in the picture and they said that they would stick by me through the process and make sure that I finished uh, the right way. Um, I ended up getting A's and B's my senior year, uh, second semester, and I I ended up qualifying. So. That's really how I ended up at Ball State. Awesome. So, Ball State, give me one word to describe your career at Ball State. Um, in my opinion, just a, a very good career. Uh, yeah. Blessed. To be honest, because um, Ball if you don't know much about Ball State, is just a greedy school. Like, uh, we don't have much, but – what we do have is uh, team camaraderie and guys that to go to work for each other. So that was a big thing going there. Gotcha. So in your junior year, you ranked third in the MAC in rushing yards per game at 106. That's not an easy task because a lot of MAC teams have really good defenses. Uh, how proud were you of that accomplishment? Um, I was super proud because the year before, uh, it was like a bad season for me. I ended up getting injured, and I was just down and depressed. So uh, that year was really like a comeback year for me, and the year to put my name on the map and show people that I'm um, capable of big things. So just going in there and rushing for that every game, uh, just, just off my preparation. That's, that's really the reason why that happened, just the way I work and the way I prepare. Awesome. Uh, so 
kind of midway through the year, maybe towards the end of the year, you unfortunately got an injury and decided to opt out. Uh, what went into that decision? Um, really, like, I got injured the second game of uh, this past year, and I end up playing through that game and another game. But uh, during that game, I just took a, a, a freak hit from a DN. Catch, I was catching the ball, and he just hit me on the side. And it was it just happened to be where my ribs were, so they fractured on that play. And really, I wasn't supposed to get up. Like I was supposed to stay on the ground from that, just from that hit. Like it hurt that bad. But something inside me was just like, I'm not gonna let these dudes just stand over me and you know taunt me. Because I mean, it was a, it was a good hit by the other dude, but I wasn't just gonna lay on the ground and let them stand over me and you know talk talk about me and stuff. So I popped up. And their guy actually ended up staying – like, he was he was on the ground himself. Like, he couldn't even get up. They had to escort him off the field. But wow. I got up. Uh, uh, then next play, I end up scoring a touchdown. So, um, that's that like a reve- said, really, that's a revenge like, drive was, right there. That's that revenge. For sure. <laughs> for sure. But I was able to finish through that game. Um, I didn't really feel too much. Yeah. And then – the next day, uh, it was just horrible. I couldn't breathe, couldn't sleep, or none of that. So uh, I tried it out, kept going. I played the next game. Uh, that game, I still rushed for 100 yards. But I was going to say, just, so you were injured during that Eastern Michigan game? Yeah. You rushed for 200 yards. I know. <laughs> What what antidote do you have for a broken wrist that you're able to to rush for 204 yards, man? That's insane. I have no idea. Really, I feel like it was just the, the um, adrenaline, the, the adrenaline mixed with the leave that I was taking. Because uh, for every game, I take like five, six leave just to you know subdue some of the hits that I'm gonna take. So with a broken rib, like that's kind of hard to you know keep playing through. So. Yeah. That NIU game, it was it was tough, and I really couldn't I couldn't keep playing like that, so I just had to opt out. So, um, how are you feeling now? How's your injury doing now? I'm out. I'm 100 percent now. I feel great. Awesome, awesome. That's good to hear, and I'm sure a lot of NFL teams are good to, are glad to hear that. How has your pre-draft, I guess, world been? Um, it's been tough because a lot of people don't know. Um, I got a little son. So, like, uh, he's actually down here with me while I'm training. And, you know, that could be tough as a dad, you know, trying to balance, you know, pre-draft stuff and being a good father, too. So, uh, it's been it's been kind of odd. It's different from most people's. But, I mean, I love it. Um, finally being put in a position to, you know, take my talents to somewhere where I, I could possibly take care of my family. So, that's a big thing for me. Is he going to be a running back? Um, the way it's looking, yeah, either that or a linebacker because he's already linebacker. aggressive. Oh man, well, how incredible would it be if he he's the guy next time that that's standing over you? <laughs> I could have it that way. I love it. I know, I know you would. Awesome. So how, like, I know you you, you did most of the season with uh, Ball State. What was that like during COVID for you? <laughs> Uh, it was it was super tough. Just never going through that in life and having to go through all the procedures, testing every day, waking up, and you know, we can't even meet as a team or be with our teammates like usual. And then like like I said before, my son was born like in the middle of that. So like just balancing everything at the same time was it was tough, but like anything in life, um, if you just have a strong mind and perseverance, you can get through it. So I want to congratulate you on your son. Uh, it's awesome Appreciate that you, you have him. Uh, so, if you could relive one game at Ball State, what what game would that be? I say NIU twenty nineteen. NIU twenty nineteen. Awesome. Any reason why? Um, because NIU uh, the previous years kicked our behinds. Like every year, like that. So like that game was just a statement game. It showed them that we were turning the corner as a program. But, and like every year that we went up there, it was always raining or some bad weather. So like that game was just just a great great a great game for uh, the program. We won the 
Um, I forgot the corn stalk trophy or something like that. I forgot what it was. 100, 157 yards by you, too. Wow. That's pretty good game. Pretty, that's a great game. That's a great game. Especially the NIU's coach is uh, he's a uh, well, a defensive guy, so yeah, must have killed you, him to have you score uh, run for 157 yards on him. Yeah, man, they had the, the box loaded up on me. Yeah, All right, so moving on to the NFL draft, anything that you're specifically working on with your pre draft routine, something that you really want to improve on? Um, really just, just my hands, um, boss that I wasn't really able to showcase that ability, but I've always pretty much had it. I just really didn't get those snaps. So, uh, during pre, pre-draft, that's what I'm really working on the most, my hands, um, as far as pass pro two, because, uh, they can be better, like just tighter. I, I feel like I'm a good pass protector, but, um, Technique wise, it's always something that you can improve on. So I'm working on a little things. Awesome. Do you have a plan for for what you kind of want your 40 time to be? Can can I uh, bother you for that that inside information? What we want it to be? Uh, I really wanted to be high four five, uh, low four six. For the team that drafts you, what are they getting out of you? Just an all-around good teammate, um, player that's going to challenge their teammates to be at their best um, because, like, the way I practice is the way I play in the game. So by doing that, that just makes everybody better. Uh, nobody's slacking. And people just looking at that just are going to want to, you know, follow because, like, um, you, you can't really deny that effort. And, like, if you're not doing it, if, if you're not uh, giving your all in practice, it's going to make you look bad. So. Sure. I feel like if I go hard every day, um, somebody's going to be bound to match that energy. So, awesome. All right. We play this game with all our guests. We actually played it with one of your teammates last week. Uh, it's called Steady Fire. It's a cool, a lot of fun question. Some might have to do with football, some might not. I'll start you off with what is your favorite home cooked meal? Mm. Man. <laughs> uh, I say cute steak. Okay. Do, are we having any dessert with that? I don't really do dessert with the with the meals like that, but if I had some some dessert to go along with it, I'd say uh some peach cobbler. Peach or some cobbler. pecan or some pecan pie. That's that that's the southern in you, the, the peach cobbler and the pecan pie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you already know. Do you have a, a running back that you kind of model your style after, maybe a professional running back? Um, I don't have just one, but I kind of look at a, a couple guys um, at one time to try to make myself better. I would say Le'Veon Bell, um, okay. definitely Frank Gore, Frank um, Ezekiel Elliott. Um, I'm trying to think. What's bro from the Titans? I can't think of his name. Derrick Henry. Oh, Derrick Henry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good one to model it after. He's a tank. Yeah, he is, definitely. Did you have a favorite uh, football team growing up? Uh, my favorite football team was the Falcons and the Ravens. Fal- Falcons and the Ravens, all that. Uh, Falcons and Ravens need, need another running back, too. So you, you might end up being there. <laughs> <laughs> I actually been talking to them, too. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Oh, inside information. Look at that. Awesome. Uh, if you could have any superpower, what superpower would you want? Be everywhere at once. Everywhere, including the end zone? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Do you have a guy that you can't wait to stiff arm when you get in the league? Like, if you get to stiff arm any linebacker, defensive lineman when you get in the league, who do you want it to be? Probably a D lineman. Uh, I'll say either Aaron Aaron Donald or uh, McDonald Kinsu. 
Dude, the Dominican suit would be I, I, a lot of people would be rooting for you to stiff arm him. <laughs> I know, I know, it's a tall task, but if I could do that, then uh, open some eyes. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Uh, any? Did you play any other sports growing up? Um. Yeah, I did. I wrestled and I played. I ran track too for a little bit. Uh, what did you do? What uh track did you do? Uh, but you ran. Or did you? Uh, four by, four by one, 200. Gotcha. And 100. Awesome. Um, if you could, if you had to lose every game at Ball State, I know you didn't, but if you had to lose every game at Ball State, but you played one team every year and you crushed them, what team would you want that to be? At Miami, Ohio. Miami, Ohio. Okay. Okay. First, first game this year. I was a little. I I watched the Mac a lot. The Mac's my one of my favorite conferences. And that yeah. first game, I think a lot of people kind of counted you guys out, and you guys ended up winning the championship. So yep. that's awesome. It was just, just you know, what I'm saying, just the first first game jitters. We right. just had to get it right. But after that, it was pretty much solid. Yeah, for sure. Um, was there a team that you didn't get to play in your your career at Ball State that you wish you got to play? Um, thank. Yeah, I don't think green. I don't think I played Ohio. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, Bowling Green and Ohio. Oh, you didn't. Oh, you didn't get to play either of them. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Those were two of the not so good teams this year too. So, um. If I gave you a million dollars, but you only had a half hour to spend it, what are you spending it on? Half hour. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some property in that half hour if I can. Yeah, yeah, smart. Uh, are we buying it in Indiana or Georgia? Uh, either Georgia or Florida. Georgia or Florida. Or, yeah. You gotta get away from the cold, right? No cap. <laughs> um, we'll play a little bit of game of Desert Island. Uh, so you're stuck on a desert island, but you get to bring one book. Uh, you can watch one TV show, and you can listen to one album or one artist. We'll give you one, like, rapper, singer. Who is that? Um, all right, so I'm going to have to go with Young Thug. Okay. Um, book i'm gonna have to go with oh man this is tough probably the scorpion okay or and tony b jones okay all right awesome (laughs) and then one tv show or movie tv Uh, show or movie man probably you Oh, that I'm excited for season yeah. three to come back. It's coming back in April. For real? Yeah, I'm excited. Man, yeah, I need that right about now. Yeah, that, no. that whole series had me. Oh, it, it, it's like a mind. It's a mind control. It's like mind messing around with your mind. That series, it's crazy. All right, I just got one more question. Yeah, it really for you. is. <laughs> got one more question for you, uh, and then I'll let you go. I know you're busy. I know you got your little guy. Um, so we talked about what you're bringing to the team from a team's point, from the owner's point, uh, from the coach's point. But what about for the fans? What what are the fans getting for the team that drafted you? Just a dog. Like, just the way I go about doing things. Just dog mentality. Uh, I'm not really a person that's going to say too much. But as far as on the field and interacting with the fans, that's, that's my thing. Awesome. Caleb, best of luck to you with the draft. We'll be watching, and we will be rooting for you, man. Uh, best of luck with the the boy, too. I hope that he does a – hope that we'll see him. We'll be able to interview him in, I guess, what is it going to be, like 2044, 2043? <laughs> we'll be uh, interviewing him. So. Something like that. But yeah, exactly. Thanks for having me on, bro. Much respect, and I hope your show goes uh, to the moon, man. Thank you so much, man. Best of luck. All right, man. Be safe. You too. 
That was Caleb Huntley, great guy, new father, and the potential draft pick of my Jets, of James's Giants, maybe the Eagles, maybe the Falcons. Uh, a lot of different teams that he could go to. A lot of teams need running backs. Great guy. Uh, wishing him the best of luck. And uh, stay tuned. We definitely got more interviews coming out.